Hi, my name's Helen and this is my channel, Helen Mary Jo. If you're new here, then welcome. And if you're returning or one of my fabulous Hells Bells, then thank you so much. It's really fabulous. Um, today I am going to make my Christmas cake on camera. The only good thing about this is that I've I've kind of got all my ingredients measured out, ready to go. So um, I do feel like I'm on the telly cooking, which is rather nice. So the first thing I'll do is tie my hair back because um, I didn't tie it back sooner because it's freshly washed and it can kind of go a bit weird. Um, so I've just loosely tied that back out of the way to make sure there's nothing waiting for me. So I am making the Juliet Sears. Um, oh, she's the cook on this morning. I'm going to make her Christmas cake. I've done it for a few years now. But the only difference is that I am going to cook it in the slow cooker. So wish me luck on that one. I'm trying not to use the oven at all. I've been using my air fryer and the slow cooker for virtually everything. And uh, that's been working really well, unless I've got a big crowd and then obviously I need to use the oven. But then I try and do lots of things. And I've been making cakes in my air fryer and all sorts. So anyway, let's crack on with this. So um, I've got 300 grams here of glacé cherries and they've been cut in half and washed. So they've had all the syrup washed off them. So hopefully they will sit nicely. Um, I've got um, a mixture of dried fruit. It should be 240 sultanas, 360 raisins and 360 currants, but I only had raisins. And apparently in a lot of countries, they don't differentiate between sultanas and raisins. So I figured that's fine. So that's all the fruit there ready. I've got 100 grams of mixed peel. I've got, um, how much is this? I've got um, some, hang on, just checking. I've got 40 grams of glacé ginger. And, um, well, this is stem ginger, actually. And the, the way I found easiest to do this is I just put it in the bowl and just snipped it with my probably most favourite piece of kitchen equipment. I've got um, 200 grams of salted butter, 200 grams of plain flour, and I've already mixed the um, spices. I've got ginger, cinnamon, a mixed spice, and a pinch of nutmeg. It's half a teaspoon of each and a pinch of nutmeg. Four eggs, um, 200, grams, ground, 200 grams of molasses sugar, and um, how much brandy? Oh, let me just check. Four eggs and um, 160 ml of brandy. Ready to go. Oh, it's really bad because that's um, Grand Marnier, which is obviously a bit fancy, but, I, you know, it, I didn't have anything else. So that's and 70 ml of vodka. Nice. So I'm just going to get on with the recipe. And I will be having to look at the recipe because I haven't earned, learned it off by heart. But it's very, very simple and I've done it a few years now. I'm not going to line my cake tin because it's going in the slow cooker. I don't think I'll need to. I will just grease it lightly. And um, the first thing I have to do is break and beat the eggs. I love these bowls. These are a TK Maxx purchase. And um, I just think they're beautiful, don't you? They're all in different colours. I've got uh, this one here. It's got the sugar in it. This kind of bluey colour. I usually use them for nibbles and stuff, but I thought I'd be fancy and put them on the um, on the telly. I'm not sure this is going to be big enough. Hopefully it will. I thought, well, I'm not kind of doing it twice. You know what I mean? I'm doing it live. So if I go wrong... You can all laugh at me and learn from my mistakes. Yep, I don't think that's going to be big enough. Let's see. I might get away with it. So I'm just breaking these into the bowl. And these are just medium-sized eggs. I don't think that's a problem. And I'm just going to break them up lightly. Break the yolks. Just get those mixed. A lot of people, when I did the um, prepping for Christmas video, a few people, quite a few, well, you know, I only remember the negative comments. I suppose we're all the same, aren't we? And people said we couldn't see what you were doing. And, you know, because I was just literally stirring sauce and stuff, I didn't think you really needed to. But I've tried my best to get the camera in a better position for this one. So that's the um, eggs be beaten together. And then it is, um, what was it? Let me just check. I don't want to get it wrong. 
uh, two teaspoons of vanilla extract. So I've got this fair trade. It's so expensive, isn't it? I was going to get the one in Costco, but it was like, I don't know, £10 for the bottle or something. So I've just popped that vanilla extract into there. Where's I put the lid? Oh, there it is. And that's, that's kind of everything ready. So now I'll start combining. So um, put all the dried fruit into one bowl. That's a lot, isn't it? Um, the um, glacé ginger into there as well. It's all very well, all this, getting it all ready, but of course I've got more washing up then, haven't I? The um, mixed peel. My mum loves ginger and she loves mixed peel. She said when she was a kid, obviously it was in the war, um, World War Two, what? <laughs> or the Boer War. Um, she used to eat the orange peel off the oranges because obviously they were so um, rare to get. So that's all the fruits in the um recipe i'm just gonna give that a little mix make sure that that's all evenly distributed i don't think i put this the um no i don't put the uh i don't put the um i think i'll put the, the cherries in not yet anyway so that's that done and then what's quite unusual about this is the um, butter and the sugar. I'm going to need a bigger bowl for that. Butter and the sugar get microwaved together. So I'm going to pop them in there and um, put that on just a minute to see how it's going and then give it a stir. While that's melting, I thought I'd show you this. Do you remember my um, forever rose that some people said looked like a funereal thing? And then I, they put me right off it then. I didn't like it. And it had forever rose um, logo on here, which was a bit, you know, silly really. All right, if you put it in a corner. But I covered that with vinyl my, from my cricket machine. And then I put this ribbon on. And I think that's made all the difference. They've got a really good deal for Black Friday, so I'll put that in the description box down below. And, um, you know, if you want to send that to somebody, not this one particularly, but there's all other ones, different bright colours and stuff. And, you know, I think it's a Marmite thing. Some people love them and some people hate them, but I thought that made it look a little bit different. And, um, you know, if you haven't got fresh flowers, it's quite nice to have something there that's kind of flowery. So um, let's see how that's got on. Oh, that's completely melted, or well, near enough. Give that a stir. Get all that sugar in. I mean, having this melted obviously makes mixing the whole thing together so much easier. Um, and like I say, I can't see that cooking it in the slow cooker will be a problem because you do cook Christmas cakes very slowly. And it's not like we want it to rise or anything. So, well, you'll find out if it's uh, any good or not. So, I'll pop that back in for another minute. And then, like, start combining the other ingredients. So, that's in there. Um, the eggs are done, the flowers are mixed in there. And then, um, then we have to mix the flour and the fruit together. I'm transferring it into this bigger bowl because obviously it's quite a large mix. Um, where's the bit of cherries going? Sorry, I'm just. Ba, 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 ba. They must have been for the cherries to go in at this point, mustn't they? So I really like this recipe, by the way. So um, 
I've I've done it a lot, so I've I've enjoyed it probably too much because I can't once I cut it, I don't cut it until um Christmas Day. And then I can't stop eating it. So I don't know why I make it really, it's terrible. Um so the dry fruit peel, glasso ginger. Uh, where's the sh where's the cherries then? Oh, I'm just going to stick the cherries in with all this lot. Makes sense, doesn't it? That's dried fruit too, really, at the end of the day. I'll probably read something now that says it's uh, you put them in last or something. So make sure the fruit is um, all covered with the flour to help uh, it distribute evenly through the um, cake. Cake's a bit of a marmite thing as well, isn't it? People either love that or hate it. Fruit cake, I um, I love it. I love mince meat. I love all of that stuff. So we've done that. Then we have to put the um, flour and sugar mix in. It's so easy baking, really. Lots of people say that they can't bake. I think anyone can bake because it's just it's just as long as you get the measurements right and the container the right size. I I I just don't understand what's difficult about that really. It's confidence, I think. I think you have to have that confidence. So that's pretty almost there. I'll just give it a bit more of a turn, and then we um what do we do then? We add the eggs. So here are the eggs in my beautiful bowl. And then I think we also, once I've mixed that through, what's nice about doing it this way is that you, because I've measured everything out, if there's anything like left in there, I know that I've forgotten to add it. And then we add the vodka. and the brandy oh gosh that smells lovely just smells of christmas it's quite a wet mix but it's a really good cake so you've got to trust the process that's the other thing i think with mix with baking is you have to trust it and the more you do it i know i probably speak preaching to the converted here but the more you do it the better you'll get because you learn how things should look you know what the consistency should be like so that's everything combined now so i am just going to um i'm just going to put some grease around the um tin I bought this tin new last year because I was fed up with them. It, the tins I had just seemed like a little bit low grade. So I bought this one, I think it was on Amazon, but it's uh, it's a really, really thick tin. Um, so I'm pleased with that. So I'm just going to do this. So I don't want to get my hands all mucky. Luckily, the butter dish is nearly empty. So that's handy. Normally, I would I would um, line this, and I would grease it in. Um, I would line it top, top and bo bottom and sides, and then I would wrap brown paper around as well to make sure that it doesn't get dried out. But um, I've just given that a jolly good greasing, and then let's hope that this mixture fits in here nicely. It's really just like fruit held together with um, with um, a bit of flour and sugar, isn't it? Really, it's a really fruity fruit cake, but it's not a really too dark fruit cake. You know what I mean? Like some of them are so dark. This is the right size tin, but it's uh, very very full. 
but it doesn't it doesn't rise or anything so um just has to cook through really there is a bit left in the there so that's that it says three inches deep i thought this was, i think this is three inches anyway well it's in there now so i'm going to pop this in the slow cooker on low and i'm just going to leave it ignore it and let it cook for the rest of the day so wish me luck that's a lot of ingredients if it doesn't work i don't want to drop it either oh do you know what i'm going to do that's a little bit um what's the word um it's kind of wobbling a little bit in there so i am going to find something that i can fit oh i know what i've got i've got this oval dish that hopefully will fit in there and act as a little platform for the cake look girls you can see i'm not professional not claiming to be people ask me to show you their I'm you my cake so that's what I'm doing and that's that ready cooking away and like I say I reckon that'll take probably five hours and then when it's done I will um show you the finished product and let's hope it's not in a bin <laughs> so thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed then please do I'll be doing a couple more cooking videos and then my house decorating i'm hoping to do a wallace haul later on today which is um lovely jumpers uh sweaters and um thank you very much for watching see you later bye